Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video for my channel where today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. We're not going to have any gameplay or anything like that today. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a bit of a like a, uh, a setup tour. Now I know I did one previously in my old flat uh, but since I've moved and I've added a couple of really important bits to my setup which I want to show you guys uh, and then give you a bit of lowdown on how they help me, how they work. Uh, a little bit of review, you could say, <laughs> for these certain items of my setup. Uh, but if you enjoy the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If, you, uh, if you've got any of these items or if you've got anything that you can suggest that would improve setups, comment it down below uh, in the comments section, as well as subscribe if you're new around here. Um, but without further ado, um, we're going to jump into this. Now, at the moment, I'm on my setup, as you can see. Uh, so with the power of editing, we're going to switch to a different camera so we can have a look at these items. So get ready, get steady. And here we are. So we are on a different camera. I'm actually just using my phone camera because it's a it's a pretty good camera. Here is my setup. Then in my my little studio sort of uh, thing in the jiggy. I don't really know what you call it. Uh, excuse the mess of the rest of the room. This is still our spare room. Um, so we're still sort of uh, sorting stuff out at the moment. But my my setup is here. As you can see, a lot of it is going to be the same as my previous setup. So I've uh, look. I've got my webcam over there. Got my TVs, my screens. Currently, I am um, reinstalling Black Ops 3, as you can see, uh, for the next episode or one of the next episodes of my series, COD Through the Years. If you've missed it, go and check it out. It's a really good series. Uh, but yeah, so most of it is still the same. We've still got the Xbox. Uh, we've still got the uh, the ASOS monitor. Uh, we've still got the Acer monitor for my PC because I don't really need a good PC monitor. I've still got the same PC as well, which is sitting underneath here, as you can see. Uh, can you see that? Yep, there we go. So you can see that. It's got my uh, docking station for my pad charging. Now the first thing we're going to take a look at is um, really, really important. And uh, somehow I'm going to turn the camera around. And here it is. It is the Yeti. It is the Blue Yeti. Um, now I, for a long time, needed a new microphone because my old microphone had a very dodgy wire on it. Uh, where it would uh, cut out if I ever touched the wire by accident. It would stop recording the uh, the webcam for some reason, or if I was streaming, it would just go off uh, and take ages to come back on. So I ended up uh, waiting for this bad boy. Uh, if I take the the uh, the muffler off, I think it's called, or pop, the pop muffler, or whatever it is, off, there you can see it. It's so shiny. I love how shiny it is. Uh, but the, the sound quality on this is amazing. It is so good. Obviously on the front here you've got a mute button as well, so if you press the mute button it flashes to let you know it's muted. And they've also got a volume button here. Now on the back of it, if we turn it round without it falling off, there we go. We also have gain and we have a pattern. So the pattern's pretty, uh, pretty interesting setting. I had to play around with it, recorded a couple of different videos with different settings just to see which one I liked. Um, and I went, oh god, there we go. I went with this one in the end. Um, this much gain, and obviously on the front, like I said, volume wise, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, but the sound quality is just so good. Um, and I used the muffler, my girlfriend got this for me separately on top because I just think it does actually sound a bit better with it on there. I used to have a pop, like a pop, um, thingy. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called now. One of those pop muffler things. Um, but I prefer this, I think this sounds better. I've got it on this, um, arm here. So when I'm using it, it comes out. When I don't need it, it will just go back over there and sit there. And then when I need it, it will come back out again. But yeah, the quality on the Yeti, amazing. It's just, you know, you pay for, for good stuff and, and this is what you get, really. The sound quality is amazing. As you can see over the back here, we've got my Algeto speakers. One this side and one this side. Therefore, my PC, obviously, when I'm using my Xbox, I don't really need the sound. that I've got it coming through my... Beautiful Astro Eighty Forties, which I did a review on before. If you want to go and check that out and see what the sound would like them, there's my Sunday Hedgehog mug. Also down here, new to my setup is my PlayStation Four. So I have never had a PlayStation Four. Uh, brought this one like last month, um, just because I know a few people are on PS Four and I like to play with them occasionally. Um, I haven't. I've always been an Xbox boy. I had a PlayStation One. I had a PlayStation Two, but that was it. I never had a three or a four. So this is my first four. Uh, which I'm really happy to have. Now, the other thing we're going to be looking at, uh, by the way, there's my, my my YouTube page if you want to go and subscribe, <laughs> um, is down here, and that is my green screen. So before I was using, I think I've still got it over here, like uh, you can just see it down the back of the wardrobe there, green screen. My girlfriend actually made that for me, um, which was great. It did a great job, and I was really pleased with it. But I wanted to get something a bit different since I moved. 
it wasn't quite as easy to get it into place. So I went and brought this one. And this is an Elgato green screen. There you can see it just down there. Now what this does, and my girlfriend will obviously agree, I said, <laughs> when I got it, because you can put it away. Literally, you get it out, you use it, you put it back down, and you can put it anywhere. It goes anywhere. And what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up and show you exactly what it does. So they're already open. You flip open the top. And there it is, the green screen is inside there. As you can see here, you raise it and then you retract it. So let's raise it up. Up it goes. And you can just see literally <laughs> green. There we go, so it's up. It's very tall. It's probably nearly as tall as the door. So it gives you a massive, massive green screen behind you. I've still got the light on it behind it, so it does lighten it a little bit. You could always put something behind it to, to make it green and <laughs> not see the, the, the shadow there. But yeah, there we go. And on the back of it, you'll see, if we go around the corner, there it is. So that's the frame of it, um, which keeps it in place. You've got the feet there as well. They they go out back underneath it when you don't need it. Excellent product. I, I love this green screen. It's so easy. There you go. Up and down. You can go. Uh, and then go back around this side. Oh, God, this is really difficult. You just literally push it up and down. It's so easy to use. Down it goes, back into its thing, back up it comes. So simple, so simple. You can retract it back up, and I'll show you what I mean. Down it goes, close the lid. One, two, you put the feet back underneath it. No. And there you go, you can literally just pick it up, lean it against the wall if you want or something like that. Oh, it makes a funny noise and there you go it's clear perfection <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um put, go back onto my setup and show you just how it looks like in uh in game i'm going to turn this around quickly there we go so i'm going to go back onto my setup uh, by the power of editing <laughs> and um, and show you exactly how it looks like when you're using it on your setup so ready steady and here we are back on my setup. Um, I'm using OBS to show this because I think it looks better on the OBS than it does uh, on my editing software. Sometimes when I when I use the green screen uh, to take out the background, it doesn't always look as sharp as it should. But this looks pretty good. As you can see, the green screen is up. You cannot see it behind me. You cannot see any of the room behind me. But when we uh, when we retract it, there is the room. It's so good. You can have it halfway. You can still see half the room, half not. So it's very good. It's so easy to use, so easy to set up. And it does the job that it's meant to do. It gets rid of the background. Now you don't have to. Um, I, you know, obviously a lot of streamers, YouTubers use different um, different things. Some use just a box around uh, their frame with the camera, whatever's got one behind them, have a nice little setup behind them. I've always, you know, preferred just getting rid of the background. You can see more of the gameplay on the screen. Um, and you get to see me still. So there we go. Uh, I, I, you know, if you can afford it, get one or any sort of green screen will do. Like I said, my old one was literally made by my girlfriend and it was perfect to work really well. I just had the money and saw this at the time. Uh, somebody was selling it secondhand for a good price. So I, I snapped it up and I love it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. But there you go, guys. That is it. It's just a quick video on the setup that I'm using at the moment. If you've got any questions, make sure you drop them down in the comments. And like I said, if you've got any uh, suggestions about stuff to add to setups to make it improve, or improve it your microphone your webcam whatever you use let me know down in the comment section below if you've enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up if you're new around here hit the subscribe button too i'd love to have you here and i'll see you in the next one bye bye